Okay, so I am going to the African store today. So come with me. So I'm back from the store and this is all I got. I actually remembered one thing that I forgot and that was Gary. Um I wanted to buy both white and yellow Gary. Um but this is my list. Guess how much all of this is. Um so here is my receipt. Um everything is two hundred and seventeen um dollars sixty-eight cents. Um so um it's pretty much a lot like we have um uh, shaki um both frozen and dried leaf of Utah's Uziza sorry I usually put Uziza in my head you see it gives it one kind of taste like that that I like um I bought they just so have the Nigerian I mean they have um fr uh, tomato paste in Walmart like the Oimbo tomato paste but I like cooking with some of this just to have that taste of home. Um, this is big geisha. Sometimes I like putting this in my spaghetti. Um, this is eleven dollars. Oh my god, this is eleven dollars for the two of them. So it means that one is like one is eleven dollars. Many two of them is twenty dollars. I'm obviously not going to buy this again. Because it's too pricey when I can get tomato paste from Walmart for like <laughs> less than a hundred, le like less than two dollars. So I'm not going to get this again. This, sorry, one one is actually um, two of them are actually eleven dollars. That was a mistake. Um, two of these is seven ninety eight. So it means that one is about four dollars. Um, this. Um, I bought two sets of plantain. 
one set contains um i think five plantains so i have about 10 each i thought let's see one two three four five six seven eight okay eight each and that's for five dollars each so four is five dollars meaning this eight sets this is ten dollars um this is shaki shaki is ten dollars this is frozen uzuza is seven dollars because it's fresh this one is oh this is curry leaf sorry curry leaf try curry leaf is three dollars this golden one is twenty dollars guys this is going to be the end of me drinking golden twenty dollars is a lot in nigeria this should go for like nothing more than two thousand naira that's a lot obviously a lot it means that they are selling it at, at a price of ten dollars ten thousand naira for your goldie moon that's a lot pick me up this is sixteen dollars um this one powder yam is eighteen dollars this three set of yams are like the most expensive <laughs> It's like $45. Yam is really expensive. Like in the store, I showed a picture. One yam was like $23. So I just got this three for it was a set for $35. Yam is expensive. Women in Nigeria is expensive, so I'm not surprised. But what can we do? The Kaksha cannot be sell no eat yam. Me, I like yam. Um, this is just fresh tatashi pepper. Sometimes it's really hard to find this kind of pepper in Walmart or other stores. So I just bought it from there and it's five dollars. Um this beans honey beans is uh oh my god this beans is for seven dollars <laughs> guys African food is expensive um then this rice is seventeen dollars actually I think that to okay I have this is pomo pomo is a ten dollars then this cow skin uh sorry cow leg is ten dollars too cow feet ten dollars um so in total i had two hundred and seventeen dollars plus uh, there was including tax tax was like seven seven dollars seven percent of everything i bought so um what i would say is like african stores can be quite pricey because of course they are shipping some of those things like if i wanted to cut cost what i would do is this rice is uh about 17 dollars is a lot because i could get <coughs> half of this from walmart for like five to six dollars so if i'm buying two which is uh, let me say this is like maybe 3 kg or 2 kg. I will get that for my for less than ten dollars. So um that's that will save cost. Um well this only beans, I don't you can't get this one from Walmart obviously. So but I like this beans because it's sweet. Um but yeah, like buying food here is really expensive. Okay? I don't know if it's inflation or it has always been like this, but it's quite pricey. Um, going forward, oh, and this uh, food would take us for like it can actually last us for like three weeks for a family of three, two active adults and one baby. So I, I don't know if I should count the baby because maybe she's drinking breast milk, but then she's drinking breast milk from me, so I eat more than I should. So um so but yeah this will last and we still have some other food stuffs that we brought from nigeria and the ones that we bought in the past the last time we bought african food was two weeks ago so that lasted us for like two weeks but it wasn't as much as this um so but this i'm envisaging that this will last us for like three let's say three weeks if we want to stretch it a bit maybe one month i might not go to the african store again in the next until in the next maybe three weeks the only thing we might have to buy maybe in the next two three weeks might be meat um <clears throat> and as if we don't want to take um meat from walmart that's um chicken or just regular beef from walmart or if you want to get like the shaki 
or more either go to the african store or the chinese market actually they also buy sell things like this um but yeah that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you want to see some more of these videos um just let me know yeah so this is what buying african food shopping the african way in vancouver british columbia canada looks like and this is our expenses for the month i think i should do another video that um um to highlight our cost for the month how much we spend on groceries um for a month for a family of two or three <laughs> i don't know all right see you in next video bye hey guys the cameraman i'm the camera girl <laughs>